Good afternoon, hockey fans, and welcome to Greeley, Colorado, as the Broncos get ready for their second game here in the Big Mountain Classic, and they will take on the Grand Canyon University Antelopes. Both these teams coming off losses Friday evening, looking to rebound and get their first win of the tournament as the puck drops, and we are underway here at Greeley Ice House in Greeley. Puck sent into the zone by the Broncos. Justin Jones chopped at it. Broncos coming off a 2-1 loss last evening in Boulder, Colorado, where they took on the Buffaloes as Griffin Ames gets a shot away. And it is saved in the chest of Gabe Lepper, the Lopes goaltender for the afternoon. Broncos lost in Boulder 2-1 the final score at the CU Rec Center while Grand Canyon was demolished at the hands of the number one team in the ACHA D2 West, the University of Mary Marauders, as that's an onside play, but Benson lost it out of the zone. As it was a good job by Zachary Masternock to get it away. Grand Canyon Yesterday gave up 88 shots to the University of Mary, an unheard of number as Benson enters the zone. And they lost 23 to nothing. As Sven Marnus loses the puck at the blue line and it comes skittering out, meaning the Broncos have to regroup. Thrown in by Ames. Played behind the net by the Lopes and then just dumped out by Ethan Prater all the way down the ice for an icing. So it'll head back to the Bronco offensive zone. So GCU coming off the 23 to nothing loss, certainly deflating and embarrassing as they try to regroup. The Broncos in a much closer battle, two to one Nearly 3-1, to one, but the Buffaloes weren't able to put the puck in the empty net before the buzzer expired on the very last second as that one is also chipped down the ice. That one will again cross two lines and be in icing with 18-12 to play here in period number one. Second of four here in... Colorado as we got a face-off issue. Looks like Caleb Stinson on the right wing was inside the circle, so they'll do it again. And Austin Fodre will win it to Stinson of the Broncos. Jam in front, but Fodre couldn't get it past. Lepper, the Lope goaltender. Here's Raleigh Kuna, point shot. That one's turned aside into the corner. It's Fodre. Holds on to Spencer Goodwin, keeping him to the boards. Now rung around to the near side. Played in front of the net. Stinson lifted one high as Fodre dumps it back down. Now over to Zachary Hauk. And it exits the zone. Raleigh Kuno will get there first and send it back in. As here comes Hauk, sending it in. Ryan Simpson, his first Shot stop of the night, or the afternoon rather. Simpson starting, Ayers the day off after being the starting netminder in the two to one loss to the University of Colorado last night for Boise State. As Travis Alexander just caught a high stick, but no penalty. As a turnover, Ends up on the stick of Matthew Johnson. He'll shoot one in. There was some traffic in front, by the way, of Kendall Olsen, but didn't do enough to get it into the back of the net. Broncos chase back. It's Valeri Dietz with a new tape job on his stick. He's tripped up. Broncos still managed to keep it with Brandon Benson. The captain throws one back post, and 
Justin Jones nearly got there on the doorstep. Dietz shooting, blocker save. Here's Jones, over to Benson. Benson gets dumped in the corner. Eric Pinsky comes away with it. Pinsky high slot shoot. And that one also kicked away. Here's Deet shot. It's loose, it's in. Pinsky and Jones, the two there. We'll see who the goal gets credited to, but both of them at the net. And one of those loose sticks put the puck in the back of the net to give the Broncos a one to nothing lead. Fifteen fifty-eight to play and the Broncos already up by one. This puck sent in again to the antelope zone. Benson is taken down, it comes out to Dietz. Now Stinson behind the cage as the puck flips up out in front. Here come the Antelopes trying to enter the zone, they do so. It's Ryan Nolan. As Pinsky's nudged off. Big shot along the boards delivered to Luke Stevenson. And the puck finally makes its way back out to center ice. As Caleb Stinson just lost a glove and his stick trying to deliver a hit. Long pass, hits the stick of Stevenson, he chops it in. Under 15 to play now in period number one. As Dietz carries all the way in, shot blocked by Colin Marks of the purple and black. As it's near side, Ames keeps it in and throws it deep. Picked up in the neutral zone by the Antelopes and chipped in into the glove of Simpson who will play it. Here's Dylan Broman. Looking for Mitchell Hodges. Never made it there, Puck came over the blue line so Hodges forced to retreat. As that one spun forward looking for Ethan Prater. Slowed down in the neutral zone and the pass is whiffed on. Once more on Simpson. Pinsky finds Benson who was over the line and off sides. So we'll have his neutral zone faceoff coming up with 13.47 to play in the period. And it will be at dead center ice. Broncos up one to nothing here in the first thanks to Justin Jones and Eric Pinsky combining at the net to get one past Gabe Lepper. Pinsky pokes one. But here comes Nick Torreira. Taking away shot on Simpson, then he turns away. Came in from Gabe Lohman. Out to the point, now back down low. As Pinsky moves and loses control, but he blocks the pass and enters the zone. Pinsky to his backhand, forehand, lift, scores! Eric Pinsky with a nifty move to the outside, got it back to his forehand and lifted it over the shoulder of Leper for his second goal of the game. And now Grand Canyon and head coach Danny Roy will call a timeout as he wants to talk things over, facing a two to nothing deficit already here in period number one.
12.53 to play in period number one. In a game that's already two to nothing, Broncos have scored more already here this afternoon than they did against the University of Colorado. Grand Canyon still has not scored yet in just over 67 minutes of on ice time. As I mentioned yesterday, they lost 23 to nothing at the hands of the University of Mary Marauders. A game where UM put up 88 shots against the Lopes. Draw one by the Broncos and we are back underway here at Greeley Ice House. As that puck stays in the zone, Sven Marnus turns it behind the net. Now Austin Fodre looking for Dylan Broman. Now it's Fodre through the neutral zone, entering and dumping when he hits the line. Kuna didn't keep it in. And the Lopes will look for a breakout. Send those set a long dump out to the red line that's caught by Marnus. This one kicked forward. Another shot, that one's in the chest and saved by Simpson. That was Gabe Lohman again, getting off another nice look. Offensive zone face off for GCU, and the Broncos win the draw to Thomas Poland. Matthew Johnson turns it to Kendall Olsen. Here comes Olsen racing up the right wing. He's the first to reach the puck, but he was hit into the boards and lost control. As Dietz takes a big hit at the blue line, thanks to Zachary Nasternock. And Poland dispossesses the Ethan Prater of the puck. Dietz took a big open ice hit there as he tried to cross the blue line. Meanwhile, puck being fought for here in the neutral zone. And now finally flung in by the Broncos. Rifled forward and it ends up on the stick of Prater. He leaves it for number 81, Cameron Wojanicki. Here's Pinsky, a lot of space, left wing, shooting again, and turned aside by the glove. Launched out of the zone, and that'll be an icing as the Lopes simply just trying to relieve pressure in their zone with 10.51 to play here in period number one. Broncos up by two already. Here's Pinsky sending it across to Griffin Ames. Ames shot blocked by a stick and ends up back on Pinsky's stick. As he works his way behind the net. Now out, trying to dish one over to Benson. Now Ames has it. Ames shooting low. And Ames will backhand shovel one off the glass as Justin Jones is in hot pursuit. Jones has it. Trying to slide a pass in front. Now Benson doing the same thing. Pinsky nearly had it, but couldn't get the stick there. Just a skate. Benson back to Pinsky. Walking and shooting, scoring. Eric Pinsky is second of the game on a beautiful snipe off the post and in. Caught some iron, but stayed in. And Pinsky has two in the game already. 9.57 to play, and it's 3-0 Broncos here early.
Backdoor pass there for Dylan Broman. Another result in another goal. That one sticks to side by Lepper. Raleigh Kuna shooting again. This one bounced through the traffic and came out to the near side. Sven Marnes shoots it. Glove of Lepper knocks it aside and down to the ground. Grand Canyon again can't find a way to break it out of their zone. Sticks in by Fodre. Zachary Hauk chips it back. Out into the center of the rink. And here comes Stevenson with speed. But again, Ryan Simpson's glove there to deny the Antelopes. 9.05 to play. Shots on goal at the moment, 11 to two in favor of the Boise State Broncos. As Boise State wins another draw as well. Travis Alexander over to Kendall Olsen. Here comes Olsen pushing it forward. Walking in, shooting. And sticked away as Sven Marnus jumps up into a passing lane and takes one away. Lopes still trying to string together passes on the breakout. They like to carry it out with speed, but when they have to string a couple of passes together, it's been a struggle for them as Jones has it knocked away. Onto the stick of Cameron Wojanicki. Wojanicki again. Chops at that one. Justin Jones on his forehand backdoor pass and a goal. Jones to the captain Benson. And Brandon Benson steers one in at the back post. Nice cross crease pass from Justin Jones. And the Broncos have their fourth. Again, Grand Canyon coming off a 23 to nothing defeat yesterday at the hands of the best team in the ACAHA, the ACHA D2, I should say, West in the University of Mary Marauders. Another shot, this time it's blocked by the chest of Valeri Dietz for Boise State. And now Jones has it. Sliding up that right wing, bouncing it to Pinsky. Fodre, his shot deflected. Looked like Peyton Novilla who got there as that one nearly went up off the rafters. And that would have resulted in a neutral zone faceoff. But instead, it makes it all the way down the ice for yet another icing against Grand Canyon. Hauk flips one out again, that one. Across the blue line, Ayers out of the net before it crosses the red line. In, that's Simpson at, in net, out of the net to stop it. Broman puts one in the zone. Hopes don't manage to clear the zone. Now they do so. As Ames makes a move at the blue line, gets Sin. Rung around the boards, ends up to Mitchell Hodges' stick. Kyle Meyer puts it around. Now here come the antelopes, and here comes Stevenson. Stevenson shoots and leaves it way high, but a good play to keep it in at the line by the pitching Nick Tarara. Here's Stevenson once more. Carries, drops it. 
Now over in the high slot and another shot block. This time Griffin Ames putting the body in the way. Here's TJ Steger, shoots one wide. 5.45 to play here in the period. Blockered away into the corner by Simpson. As Hodges hits the red line, throws one off the glass. That comes Karaming over to the far side. Trey Moeller stopping. Nearly found Benson. Instead, it's out to the point with Raleigh Kuna. Here's Jones circling back. Trying to flick one to Benson. It ended up there. Pinsky shooting again. That one snuck through the glove of Leper. Pinsky one-timer. That one's wide. As Kuna comes up. Pinsky gets it over to Benson and the half boards. Kuna's shot blocked in front of the net. As Ethan Prater clears the zone. No icing this time. Four to nothing our score. 442 to play as the Broncos ice the puck. And we'll bring it down to the right side of the ice. Draw one by Boise State right off the pad of their own goaltender, Ryan Simpson, as Pinsky gets one over to Benson. Here comes Benson, shuffling his way behind the net, spinning out with speed. Still holding. Finally drops one back for Jones. Pinsky swats it to himself with his hand. Redirected in front of the net by Jones, but off into the corner. Now for Pinsky. At the goal line. And Leper did well to get his stick on it. Flipped out by the Antelopes on net as Simpson covers it up with Malik Lamott Stokes crashing down on his cage. Three fifty six to play here at Greeley Ice House. First period sees Boise State up four. Thanks to two goals from Eric Pinsky, a goal from Justin Jones, and a goal from Brandon Benson as Broman tries to backhand one across the blue paint. Thomas Poland steps up, takes a whack at the puck. For Spencer Godwin there as well for Grand Canyon. Poland and Broman both hit to the glass by Godwin. Larry Dietz under a lot of pressure in his own zone. The one four checker is Drew Murchison for Grand Canyon. He was doing a good job of making Dietz twist and turn. Travis Alexander gets it to Kendall Olsen as Olsen loses it. Lopes try to make a surge. Still looking for their first goal here in the Big Mountain Classic. Broncos only scored one yesterday against Colorado. Already four here in period number one. As Lopes have numbers, but a good poke check from Brandon Benson, who's covering for the defense. Makes the stop. Jones clocked to the ice. Big hit laid by Colin Marks. And Hayes was in for a moment, but Kyle Meyer forced him behind the net. 
Now Hayes trying to find Ryan Nolan. Instead, Mike Hay forced to retreat. Now he gets it back, dodges a body check, snags it out of the sky. Jones tried to hit Hay as well, but Hay bounced off it, kept going. A minute 25 to play in the period. Up to the right wing, Jones loads up a clap bomb and hits the netting. But they're going to say it was deflected, so give Gabe Lepper a save and give the Broncos another shot on goal. They're 15th of the game compared to just three for Grand Canyon. A minute 18 to play in period number one. Black and purple come away with the draw, but not for long as Brandon Benson of the blue and orange puts it back in. Nice saucer pass, but too strong for Wojanicki means it's going to be another icing. Both these teams will be playing four games here this pre Martin Luther King Day weekend. As Dylan Broman fans on a pass. Antelopes are in, backhand, forehand. Good save by Simpson. As another shot goes high. As there was some screaming from Grand Canyon, the bench. One of their defensemen simply gave up the puck. Probably had an opportunity to get it on the right point. Shot comes in from Sven Marnus. 20 seconds left in the period as it's shot out to the neutral zone and then sent back in. 10 seconds to go now here in period number one. Grand Canyon kick it out to center ice, slapped in but wide of Simpson's net as the horn sounds for period number one. We'll be back after the intermission. It's a four to nothing game thanks to two goals from Eric Pinsky. He leads the Broncos in scoring. They got one from Jones and from Brandon Benson as well. They're up four to nothing after one. We'll be back with the second period. Keep it here. You're watching Bronco Hockey on YouTube.
Welcome back to Greeley Ice House second period action. Moments away in a game that the Broncos lead already four to nothing over the Grand Canyon University Antelopes. And during that intermission, found out that that first goal of the game was indeed credited to Eric Pinsky. The Bronco first line left winger, which means a first period hat trick for Pinsky. Thanks to the snipe, the rebound, and the beautiful backhand forehand. So Pinsky, credit for three goals. There's a nice little dangle from Ryan Nolan as he tries to carry it into the corner. Right between the legs of Kyle Meyer. Puck falls all the way out to Pinsky, surrounded by three lopes. Just chips it into the zone, and he got hacked. 14 black with the slash. That's Aaron Wicker, the 5'11 freshman, going to the box. First power play for either team in the game. And the Broncos will be the benefactor. So they will be on the power play. Lopes looking to kill off two minutes for slashing. As Benson has it, stops up, drops it on the boards to Ames. Ames walking out and shooting. Marnus gets unstuck, but Jones beat him to the puck. Jones tried to backhand one to the doorstep. Scramble for the puck, Broncos have it. Jones shoots, hits a stick, and it'll be offensive zone face off. It was Nick Tarara who got his stick there. Saved his goaltender from having to face that shot. Once again, Broncos win the draw. Benson to Pinsky, right back. Benson to Pinsky once more. Loaded up, one timer, finds the net. Justin Jones, 45 seconds into the power play, makes it five to nothing. Broncos had a lot of open ice on that power play. And Jones was able to load up a one-time slap shot. They found its way through traffic and past Gabe Lepper. And Eric Binsky now four points in the game for him. Second point of the game for Jones as he got a beautiful assist on a saucer pass. For Brandon Benson's goal as Leper comes out, stops the puck. That one was thrown up into the netting by Peyton Novilla, but it hit off the helmet of one of the Broncos. So it is a offensive zone faceoff instead, and not a delay of game or neutral zone faceoff. Grand Canyon trying to get it out. Thomas Pullen holding the line. Drew Murchison gets it in. Larry Dietz flips it up off the netting. That one also took a deflection. Head referee closer to the action than I made that call because from my vantage point certainly looked as Dietz just flipped that one straight up out of play. Here's Poland trying to bank one to Stinson. Instead it careens out to the Lopes. They'll throw one on the net that it'll be sticked away by Simpson. 
Here's Pullen, trying to hit Stinson, does so. Dietz keeps it in, Trey Moeller trying to get there, does not in time. Let Colin Marks play, that shot comes in through some traffic as well. Just about three minutes gone here in period number two. Broncos got a goal on the power play. Thanks to Justin Jones. Muller steps up, turns one back in. Puck again doesn't exit the zone. It's shot into the near side corner. Here's Brandon Benson off the bench, leaves it for Marnus, looking but throwing it too hard for Travis Alexander was Marnus. Raleigh Kuna finds Benson. Benson had Muller skating towards the net, but he couldn't get a pass through four legs. Penske off the bench. Can't decide whether he or Jones wants it, and in the end, the Broncos end up just turning it over back to center ice. Penske gets it in, chasing it to the half boards. Good job by Nick Tarara. Flipping it over Penske. Now he's fighting for it against two Broncos and doing a pretty darn good job. But in the end, Boise State has it. Benson. Tried to get it to Jones. Now holding in the corner is Kuna. Banked out over to the near side to Jones. 15.40 to play in this period. Broncos up five to nothing. Back to the point. Penske standing there. Giving go, shot! Post no goal! Pinsky denied by the iron on a beautiful shot. Jones tried the wraparound. Pinsky almost had his fourth goal of the game as Benson now moves it to the right point. Toes that blue line. Sent in front to Pinsky who was stick lifted. Great job by Marks to tie him up. Now Raleigh Kuhn is tied up along the boards. Lopes have it, can they get it out? Not yet. Now finally find a breakout pass, nearly a breakaway for Luke Stevenson, but he just couldn't hold on to that puck on the edge of his stick. Stinson steers it to the near side. Pinsky stops, makes a move, throws it down. Stinson's awaiting. Stinson taped to the boards. Again, Lopes don't get it all the way out. And it comes back down where Stimson's waiting. One-timer in front for Austin Fodre. Here's Dylan Broman. He loses it as well as Stimson turns. He's got Ames, finds him. Ames throws one in. That one is hit skyward by the closed pads of Gabe Lepper. And it finally falls back down to earth out of play. Fourteen seventeen to play here in period number two. Five to nothing. Broncos out in front of Grand Canyon. Ames dancing around, throws it deep. Fodre has it now. His saucer pass doesn't find anyone in particular. Broman. Gets it back in the slot. Nearly. Fodre comes in, levels a little bit of a hit against Ethan Prater as Grand Canyon has finally dumped it down into Boise State zone. Uh, two passes easily clear the zone for the Broncos. Aims to Meyer, and then Meyer was looking for Stinson. Loose puck picked up and flipped in. That one shoveled over to the near side to Hodges as Hodges works his way up the right wing. Throws one that goes over the netting off the deflection and nearly clocked the scoreboard. 13-10 to play here in period number two.
Ted Olson catches that one with his hand out of the sky. Seven minutes have gone by here in the period. Olsen did enough to separate Colin Marks from the puck as Broncos throw it in deep. Matthew Johnson chasing it. Said it comes out, arm of the referee is up for a slashing penalty. And I believe it's Thomas Pullen who's heading to the box for two minutes. Indeed it is Thomas Pullen of Boise State. Two minutes for slashing. And the Antelopes will get a great opportunity to get their first goal of the classic here. So pulling in the box for two minutes. First power play of the game for GCU comes with 12.33 on the clock here in period number two. Here's Marks shooting one that goes high. Picked up on the near side by Stevenson. He's coming out straight back to Marks. Chipped over to Tarara. Tarara skating. Let's one go that goes off the stick of Eric Pinsky. And up into the netting for an offensive zone faceoff once more. 12-13 to play here at Greeley Ice House, home of the UNC Bears and the Northern Colorado Eagles. Broncos familiar with the UNC Bears. They played them once already this season, defeating them in Bismarck when University of Mary hosted a tournament. And they'll play UNC tomorrow as well, the University of Northern Colorado, one of the hosts in this tournament. As Benson picks up a turnover in the defensive zone to the backhand, tried to get it to Pinsky, but wouldn't go. Arm of the referee is up. It's a tripping penalty, and we're going to have some four-on-four -four hockey as Benson kept those skates moving and drew the penalty. Colin Marks, the culprit. Minute 21 remaining on Thomas Poland's slashing penalty. And now a new penalty assessed. Two minutes to Colin Marks for tripping. Four on four hockey for a minute and 20 seconds. See if either team can take advantage of the open ice. As Simpson retreats to his net, Barnes banks it to Ames. Ames to Pinsky. Pinsky skating, losing it as Broncos had numbers on that attack. Now it's sent down across two lines by Ethan Brader, which means at even strength, it will be an icing. Eleven twenty-eight to play here in the period and still 55 seconds of four on four hockey. As it goes far side, back in front, Jones nearly had his second of the game. Now here's Prater, catches it on sides, and Marnus turns him away from the net. Great job by Sven Marnus. As that one's thrown in on Simpson, caught it in the glove and just dropped it off to Griffin Ames. Wojnicki came, Broncos start their play. Involves Marnus to carry. Marnus stops, looks. A pretty weak pass, and it's intercepted by Wojnicki. Active stick of Ames, breaks it up, caught bomb, comes in. Big ripper off the stick of Zachary Houck, but a nice save by Ryan Simpson. Kyle Meyer trying to find Broman, but his trajectory was off on the angle pass. Broman finds it at his feet, gets it over to Stinson. 
Broncos are on a power play for 30 seconds. Meyer, back to Stinson. Stinson for Dietz, but Dietz wasn't in the spot that Meyer thought he would be. That Stinson thought he would be. My mistake, as Dietz carries. Bypasses three, shoots, glove save. Great snag out of the sky by Gabe Lepper as he flashed the leather on Valeri Dietz. 10 minutes, two seconds to play in period number two. Broncos leading in shots on goal, 19 to six. And it's resulted in the advantage on the scoreboard as well. They're up five to nothing. Thanks to four first period goals. At even strength and then a power play goal here in period number two. As Pinsky gives it over to Marnus, 17 to seven. Now seven to 37, looking back door for 17, Eric Pinsky. Here's Benson. Bronco power play is over. And certainly possessing the puck. Like they're still on one, Benson sends one in, comes out all the way back to Benson on the rebound as Raleigh Kuna turns it over. And here come the Lopes, it's a three on one rush. They throw one to the net, Simpson stopped the initial effort, stays there and stays with it. Another one comes in, Simpson barely saw it, he just got the glove up in time on the point shot as the Broncos chip it out. Kuno will chase it, if he could get it to Jones, Jones would be on a breakaway, but could not do so. Lopes fire one in. Penske trying to skate it out of the zone. Deflection ends up in front of the net as the Broncos just forced to clear it. Another shot comes in. Antelope's getting a lot of opportunities right now. Now the Broncos have a chance. Odd man rush, three on two. As Benson tries to get it to the awaiting Jones on the one-timer, gets it back, keeps it in the zone, and now loses it with the Antelope's clearing the zone. Now here comes Ames, Ames in, backhand, forehand, scores! Griffin Ames, the defenseman jumped up to join the rush, showed off the silky smooth mitts, and made no mistake did Griffin Ames potting it into the back of the net for the Broncos' sixth of the game. Eight nineteen to play here in period number two. And Broman going around the net. Broncos might not be done yet. Kyle Meyer one-timer under the stick of Austin Fodre. Here come the Antelopes. On side is Prater, but he is has it stripped by Ames. Ames, ton of speed. Here he comes, right at the defenseman. Tries to dangle, kicks it to himself, shoots it, and a sprawling leper makes the save as Ames really had another beautiful goal. Here's Poland giving it over to Fodre. Fodre's shot blocked and turned into the corner. Puck stuck over here in the near side corner. Finally, Broman comes away with it for Boise State. Stays on his feet, threw a big hit from Marks as well. As that one's blocked by Prater out in front, he shovels it all the way down as Simpson will play it so there's no icing. Six to nothing with 6.50 to play in the period. Dropped off for Matthew Johnson to Travis Alexander. Olsen trying to crash as well for Boise State. As GCU is just at this point trying to limit scoring opportunities to the outside. Johnson nearly got that one on the inside. That one deflected up out of play way over everything.
Grand Canyon finally clears the zone and Poland will just happily slap it back in. Poland keeps it at the blue line. Benson spins. Keeps it in, throws it into the near side corner. Now dumps it down for Johnson who put one on the doorstep. But no one came to the door when he came knocking. Dietz will yank it around the boards and it'll come out and be taken away by Nick Torreira of the Antelopes. That one's sent to the front of the net. Simpson makes a save, makes another save, covers it up. And a great job by Ryan Simpson to protect the net as the shovel pass came to the back door. Colin Marks was awaiting, but just couldn't jam it past Ryan Simpson. Justin Jones, tons of speed, here he comes. Trying to drive to the net as the puck gets lost and covered up under Leper. Peyton Novilla crashed into the net as well. Net might have came off just a little bit as Jones came in with a ton of speed. Ovilla trying to keep up with him. Offensive zone face off one by GCU. Pinsky taps it along. No. Pinsky did not touch the puck. Icing against Boise State. Five minutes to play here in the second period in a 6 to nothing game. Pinsky with a first period hat trick. And then a goal from the captain, Brandon Benson. Four goals in that period. And then two here in this period. A power play goal for Boise State. And then Griffin Ames, as Simpson makes another save. Puck goes through the legs of Raleigh Kuna. I don't think he knew exactly where it was. Means Grant Canyon gets to stay in the zone a little bit longer. Trying to fight for the puck. Arm of the referee is up as Brandon Benson has gone to ground. Pinsky trying to get there first. He does not. There comes the whistle. As Simpson darted to the bench to try to give the Broncos the six on five advantage. Instead, the Broncos will get the five on four advantage. As we'll take a look at the penalty. It's Luke Stevenson in the box. And I believe it is for tripping as Benson was sprawled out on the ground. Never saw a signal from the referee. Penalty is indeed for tripping. As Griffin Ames gives it back to Valeri Dietz. Broncos in their umbrella set up. Ames slap pass to Dylan Broman. And Broman's shot was blocked. Fodre has it. He's got Ames, drops it to him. Ames flings it at the net. Stinson trying to get there. Broman was trying to deflect it in front of the net, the big body out in front of Leper's cage. Boise State one for one on the power play this afternoon already. This, their second opportunity as Fodre moves in. Leaves it for Stinson who reaches out and snags it. Broman finding Ames who keeps it in just barely. Now Fodre backhander. Trying to catch the goaltender Leper sleeping. 50 seconds remaining on the power play. Ames throws one, it's deflected by Fodre and then clapped out of the zone as Dietz didn't get there in time. Ames will walk in, dump it a little bit into the zone. 
knocked out of the sky by Griffin Ames on a high stick, so the Broncos not able to chase. Dietz blocks it with the right leg. As there's 15 seconds left on this Bronco power play. Dietz was fighting for it with Colin Marks. Here's Jones shooting, blocker save. Turns it into the corner. Power play has expired. Uh, Jones got another good opportunity. That one, again, didn't hit the rafters. It went through him, didn't hit him. Now here comes Ethan Prater before being dispossessed by Sven Marnus. 2.10 to play in the period as Pinsky waits for his help. The cavalry arrives. Pinsky tries to take it into the corner. Great saucer pass. And here come the antelopes and Prater. Kuna somehow manages to recover as Pinsky sends it along further. Prater was nearly in there off a beautiful saucer pass that banked off the boards and carom to him. That one shepherded in by Stinson, but then thrown right back out by Leper. As Ovilla lifts one again in the direction of Prater. Again, Kuna there to stop Prater. So we've got a minute and 10 seconds left in period number two. Broncos have two in the period. Six in the game. Fodre covering for the defense. Goes crashing into the boards. That is always a scary play. He's slowly getting to his feet. The puck is still loose. Certainly banged up, trying to get to the bench while the Broncos and Broman bring it out to center ice. Fodre gets it, dumps it in. And it is covered up by Leper. 36 seconds left. As Fodre heads straight for the Bronco trainer to get looked at. Went down, sliding into those boards hard. Saw that happen to Dustin Truex, one of the freshmen for Boise State. A few months ago at Idaho Ice World, have not seen Truex since. Banged up his shoulder pretty good when he went sliding into the boards, enough to keep him out for months and maybe even the rest of the season as the Broncos don't have many games remaining. Just two more here in Colorado. And now Prater in our breakaway. Prater shoots denied by Simpson as that's the period. What a way to end it. Ryan Simpson, a fantastic save on a breakaway from Ethan Prater ends the period. Broncos do get two and extend their lead. It's now six to nothing as we head to the third and final period up next. Keep it here and don't go anywhere. You're watching Bronco Hockey on YouTube.
Welcome back, hockey fans, here at Greenlee Ice House in Greenlee, Colorado. Broncos up six to nothing over the Grand Canyon University Antelopes from Phoenix, Arizona. As both teams taking part here in the Big Mountain Classic, Boise State up to up six to nothing. Two of the four. Teams that are competing here across four different venues throughout the state of Colorado Denver, Boulder, Greeley, and Fort Collins all hosting some part of this tournament as the Lopes have iced the puck and it leads to an offensive zone faceoff and a shot that goes wide from Kyle Meyer. Nick Tarara trying to get it out for the Lopes, but Kyle Meyer was there to stop it. Broncos keep it in, but Marks gets it out. Good job to get it around by Ryan Nolan, a sliding. Griffin Ames blocks the shot. And looks a little bit worse for wear after doing so. As Pinsky tries to get that one. One sent ahead. And finding Mike Hay at the blue line. Blue State able to get it out. Here comes Caleb Stinson. Broman trying to stay on sides. He does. Stinson and Fodre able to forecheck. Sven Marnus also there. The Lopes. Get it back to the blue line and now get it out thanks to Hayes. Good defense. Here comes Hay. Shoots one that goes off the stick of Hodges. Rode the stick up into Hodges' body. And Stinson turns away with it. Broman one on one. Shooting and into the glove of Gabe Lepper who makes the save. Six to nothing game here in period number three. Offensive zone faceoff for Boise State. Coming up here on the near side. Broncos win another draw. Marnus shoots, looking for sticks, never found one, so it went around. Travis Alexander takes it away. Marnus stops back, gets over Kendall Olsen as the Lopes bank it out. Olsen's dump blocked, Marnus in good defensive position. As the lone senior for Grand Canyon carries the puck at the moment, Cameron Wojnicki. Lopes only have three upperclassmen. They have two juniors and a senior. As Prater shoots, Simpson denies it. Here comes Benson trying to make a move and couldn't do it. Jones takes it away, finds Binsky back to Jones. Nice one, two Binsky shot, turned aside. Benson has it for Boise State. He's pinned to the glass. Here's Jones. Jones searching for a hat trick. He's got Two goals, Benson steers one in the direction of the net. Never was going to test Slepper, however. Just about three and a half minutes gone already in the third. And Stinson gets one through. Papinski couldn't get there. Here's Benson now doubling back to the point to Dietz. Dietz, Rister, up high off the glass. Lopes flip it out. As Grand Canyon finds a way to relieve some of that pressure. 
just for a fleeting second as Fodre has it back in the zone for Boise State. Owen holds it the line. Check delivered to Gabe Lohman. And the puck comes away to Valeri Dietz. Dietz being muscled off the puck now. Blasted to the ground by Gabe Lohman. The other Gabe, Gabe Lepper, out of the cage, stops it back behind. As GCU shoots that one down on the net of Simpson. And barreling down is Peyton Hill, which forces a cover out of the Bronco goaltender. Fifteen nineteen to play, six to nothing. Boise State on top of Grand Canyon. Shots twenty nine thirteen. Broncos up sixteen shots on the Lopes. Trey Moeller shepherding it out of the zone before it's sent right back in. Now here comes Ames. Ames skating, trying to move. And has it stripped from him. As Kendall Olsen spins one in. That's redirected back out to center ice. Where Kyle Meyer will give chase. Matthew Johnson flips it up on the boards and out to Trey Moeller who has his stick whacked away from him, which will certainly be a slashing penalty. Indeed it is. Mike Hay, two minutes for slashing. He'll head to the box, and the Broncos will get their third power play of the game. Broncos are one for two on the power play. Pinsky has it, saucers it back to Griffin Ames. Griffin Ames gives it to Jones, and Benson went off sides on the far side. So they'll bring it out of the zone and have a neutral zone face off. A minute, 38 seconds remaining on the slashing penalty. As we've got a stoppage. Face-off win, Boise State. <coughs> Pinsky coasting near side, gives it to Jones. Jones in the slot. Had some traffic, didn't make it through, got blocked. Great catch by Ames on the right point. Sends it over to Benson. Benson goes back to Ames on the blue line. Stayed in. Benson's got a cross ice pass to Jones. Now back to Pinsky, one timer rifled and saved by Leper. Pinsky will take the draw, usually a left winger, but here winning the faceoff for Boise State. One timer loaded up, caught the traffic as Brentson, Benson launched that one. That one shot down the length of the ice. 45 seconds on the Bronco power play is the four checker Prater almost had it. Now Pinsky gains himself some open ice. Wants to tangle, can't do it. Here's Dietz, spins one in. Fodre stops it with the skates. 
Chipped over, but no one home. As there's 20 left on the power play. 12.50 remaining in the game. Dietz carries, Dietz wrister. Rapid wrister, but he caught the glass. Another shot deflected by Stinson in front of the net. As we're back to even strength, three on one rush for the Lopes. Prater carries in, Simpson makes the save. Bounce forward for Stinson. He moves it over to Fodre. Fodre shoots his shot blocked by a stick and up over the net once more. End to end action as Broman relieves Tarara of the puck. Stinson picks it up. Trying to use the boards for cover, but instead he just gets hit to him. Zanilov's bank one, it's a foot race that is won by Poland, which means it's icing. Eleven forty six to play. As it looks like Austin Fodre is going to the box, and yes, he is two minutes for slashing. So the penalty means that we'll have a neutral zone face-off closer to the Boise State end. No. We will not. We will instead have the offensive zone face-off for the penalty. So the icing will be negated. And we've got a face-off violation. Austin Fodre, two minutes in the box for slashing. Brandon Benson kicked out of the faceoff dot. Eric Pinsky will come in, and the Antelopes will win the faceoff. Stick of Benson to the ice. Stops the pass, and Antelopes chase back out to center. Ames takes that one right away. It was Tarari trying to get past him for the purple and black. Boise State's already killed off 40 seconds of this penalty. It's Tarara turns back. Stops, waits, a minute gone on the power play. Hey, carries. Drops it off. Slung cross size, great shot, but Simpson there with the chest. Luke Stevenson getting the shot off. But Simpson was right there. Both teams change up all nine as Griffin Ames having words with number 21 of the Antelopes, Ethan Prater, the sophomore. Ames, a native of Arizona. Certainly probably has connections to a few of these players on the Grand Canyon team. Either teammates or opponents in the Phoenix area. Tempe, Scottsdale, Phoenix. All full of good hockey. As Broman carries all the way around the net before losing the puck. 25 seconds remaining on the Boise State penalty kill. GCU simply just not able to break in the zone. That puck was launched off the stick of Mitchell Hodges and ended up all the way in the netting. 
down in the GCU defensive zone. We're two ticks under 10 minutes to play. 9.58 remaining here in the game. Boise State up six to nothing on GCU as the Antelopes are still looking for their first goal of the Big Mountain Classic. That one will end the power play as it's covered up by Leper. And it'll be an offensive zone faceoff for Boise State. Just a few seconds after their penalty expired on Austin Fodre. Good to see Fodre out there after taking that nasty bang into the boards at the end of the second period. Hodges sends one in, rebound out into the slot. Grand Canyon wipes it away. Benson sends it back behind the net, but no Broncos were there. Now Pinsky's here in the half boards for the overload. Knocked out of the sky by Lamote Stokes. Pinsky ended up on the ice after trying to lay a hit, and now hits Tarara the two. Going to have words. Pinsky's going to go to the box for interference. Not a doubt in anyone's mind. As he dumped Tarara, who got up and wanted to retaliate. Pinsky's got four points and also now has his first trip into the penalty box as the Broncos take another penalty here in the period. Grand Canyon 0 for 3 on the power play this afternoon. As it's evening time now here in Greeley. 5.05 Mountain Time. Dietz banks one down the length of the ice as Leper moves it. Now it's with Marks who angles one ahead. Jones breaks it up off the stick of Hay. And then a poke check from Poland forces the Antelopes to retreat once more. Stevenson carrying, stopping up, looking for a cross-ice one-timer. Marks will slap one into the chest of Poland. It finally falls back down as it had to shake loose from his clothing. Another shot turned away by Simpson, sticked down the length of the ice by the Broncos. And Leper scoots it over to Marks. 45 seconds left on the Pinsky interference call. Stinson lifts the skate on the offside's play and allows Grand Canyon to enter the zone and establish their power play offense. They'll take a shot. Simpson turns it into the netting, and it results in a faceoff with 7.33 left in the game and 30 seconds left on the power play. Shots 30 to 14 in favor of Boise State as another one comes in, make it 30 to 15. Peyton Novilla taking the shot and Simpson easily making the grab. First of two games, Boise State will play at Greeley Ice House. As tomorrow night they'll take on the hosts the UNC Bears, a team they defeated in Bismarck earlier this season. Broman ties up behind the net. And here come the Lopes with Spencer Godwin. 
And Goodwin shoots the puck off a stick out of play. Penalty has expired. Seven minutes left in the period and in the game. As Boise State holds a 6 to nothing lead. And over on the Grand Canyon bench, a stick was just slammed down by the senior Cameron Wojnicki. Visibly frustrated with the team's performance through just about two full games now. Trey Moeller on the back post and a sprawling save by Leper denies the seventh goal of the game for Boise State. Great save by Gabe Leper there. Moeller and Terrara on the ground. Jones comes off the bench, gets the puck back, post pass, and another outstanding save by Leper. Don't know how he got to that with the glove, but he did. Sven Marnus, lots of open space, stops back, trying to find a pass now, and finds Jones. Marnus tries to hit Pinsky. And then Marnus on the defensive recovery makes a nice play to strip the puck, and we have a penalty. And it is against the Antelopes, number 18 of the Antelopes to be exact, Peyton Hill to the box for two minutes. It looks like it's two minutes for roughing for Peyton Hill after he came in late and tried to touch up Sven Marnus. So six minutes left in the game, two minutes on the Boise State power play as the Broncos seem content with the score line at the moment, not trying to push for too many goals as Ames will send it over to Jones. Jones will shoot one that's deflected and it'll go into the netting for an offensive zone faceoff. Broncos lose the draw, which allows the Antelopes to kill some time and send it down to the other end. Ames will go pick it up. And now he'll leave it for Marnus. Marnus will dump it deep. Jones hit into the boards. Arm of the referee is up, checking from behind. No, the, the penalty's on Justin Jones of Boise State. So Jones is to the box. We'll see the call. Both head officials are talking about it. As it was away from the play, I didn't catch what exactly happened. I saw Gabe Lohman go in for a check on Justin Jones, and then all of a sudden, Lohman was on the ground in pain. As the puck was going down to the other end of the ice. Five minutes and 20 seconds left in the game, and they might be deciding if this is a five minute major or even a game misconduct. Either way, if it's a five minute major, Jones will miss the majority of the rest of the game. If it's a game misconduct, Jones will miss the rest of the game. It's a slash. And it looks like it might be a double minor actually against Jones. As the officials are still talking it over. They haven't put a penalty up on the board yet. There's still a minute and 19 seconds remaining on Luke Stevenson's roughing call. There's five minutes and 20 seconds left in the game. All five Broncos are huddled together. All five Broncos skaters, that is. 
Mm. Which is interesting considering Jones just went to the box. So there should only be four Bronco skaters on the ice. So still a five on four. And no explanation for why Jones is in the box, but more than likely, seems like he might be done for the game. As Pinsky and Nolan Ryan go cascading to the ground, a rush backhand opportunity and a beautiful glove save from Ryan Simpson as Luke Stevenson had a great shot. Things are getting a bit chippy here as Benson tried to hit Broman, crashing the net. Puck ends up on the stick of Griffin Ames, who moves it over to Brandon Penson. Ames gets it back. There's still 30 seconds on the Bronco power play. Nice cross ice pass to Marnus. Ames one timer, rebound, cleared away, and Ames can't hold it in at the line. Benson. Back to Ames. Ames crosses. Leaves it for Broman. Broman picks it up. Holds to the outside. Broman passed one poke check. Tried to flip it to Ames. Ames made a nice defensive play there, holding the blue line. As the power play is over for Boise State, and Benson relinquishes the zone. He's waiting. And finally sends one in, banking it down as it would have been an offsides play had he not. Shot the length of the ice, Simpson out, then retreats. Three and a half minutes left in the game, six to nothing still, no score in this period. Broncos got four in the first, three of them off the stick of Eric Pinsky. And then they got two in the second, including a power play goal from Justin Jones. As Benson draws to the backhand, knocked to the ice, and another penalty is coming up. And it is another slash. Slashing penalty handed out to Ethan Prater. And penalties in this game being handed out like candy on Halloween. That's now our ninth of the game. Jones out of the box. That stick was swung like a baseball bat at the puck, but he ended up missing. Pullen dishes to Jones. Jones dumps it to Benson. Benson backhand, shoveled at, chopped out of the air, but couldn't get it on the net. And then the glove of Leper finally covers it up with a minute and a half left on the Boise State power play. Again, Leper, an uh, outstanding save. Puck out to center ice. Collected by Benson. Brandon Benson. Tries to dangle through his own legs, ends up getting the puck back. Now tries to bank one to Ames. On the tape to Jones, Jones shoots into the chest and a quick whistle as Leper caught it but then dropped it. And it looks like 
Ames and Cameron Wojnicki talking. Certainly could have been high school teammates as Leper covers that one up. Two minutes, 14 seconds left in the game. Six to nothing, and there's still a minute and two seconds left on the Ethan Prater penalty. Another shot for Grand Canyon goes wide. As that was one of the best scoring opportunities they've had. Now they'll get another. Stevenson trying to drop it back. Simpson is sprawling in the net. But never had to face a shot. Benson turns it over. Here are numbers. Here's Stevenson on Simpson. Backhander denied. It falls to the ground and it's in the net. Nick Tarara ends the drought and breaks up the shutout as well for Ryan Simpson. Almost 120 minutes without a goal for Grand Canyon, but with a minute 40 remaining on the clock, they get their first goal of the Classic. Short-handed, no less, after the Benson turnover sprung Luke Stevenson on a breakaway. Simpson denied him, but couldn't control it as it fell back down onto the ice. And Tarara put the biscuit in the basket to make it six to one. Broman gives it to Marnus. Trying to find Hodges. Mitchell Hodges gets it nearly to Fadrea. Marnus keeps it in, Hodges shoots, misses the net. Under a minute to play here at Greeley Ice House. As Boise State is going to walk away with a commanding victory and improve their record to one and one here in the Big Mountain Classic with two games remaining. Poked to Fodre. And on the rebound out to Broman. Now down to Thomas Poland who's standing at the blue line. He sends it deep, wide of the net, before it's flipped to center ice by Grand Canyon. Covered by Leper with 17 seconds remaining in the game. More than likely the final face-off of the game. As we have 17 seconds remaining on the clock. Poland shoots it in, blocked. And then Poland up ends Peyton Hill. His box behind the net, Olsen had an opportunity there, but five seconds now remaining down to two. There's the final dump, and that will do it. The Broncos, thanks to four goals in the first, never looked back. A hat trick for Eric Pinsky in 15 minutes. That was all the Broncos would need as they polish off the Grand Canyon University Antelopes by a score of 6-1 to one here at Greeley Ice House. Now, Boise State will be back in action tomorrow night as they take on the UNC Bears. We may not be able to stream that game over YouTube due to some licensing issues and the rights of the University of Northern Colorado's streaming contract they have with Black Dog Media Group. So be on the lookout for Boise State tweets about that game. If we are not streaming Black Talk Media will have that game as two gentlemen from UNC will be calling the game. 
and that will be tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time. Once again, I am Leonard Berry saying so long from Greeley Ice House. Our final score, Boise State 6, Grand Canyon University 1. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great rest of your evening.